Hello there, so I'm going to be talking about Svelte routing in this video, and it's going to be using this Svelte routing project from Emil Tholen. Um, you know, it's still gaining some traction, but assuming that it'll become the default of Svelte for Svelte routing, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Seems like it's good. And you know, if it doesn't, you can still use it. It works fine. So, first we got to start a Svelte project, so I'm going to digit uh, svelte js slash template and just call it routing. So you're gonna have to npm install digit globally. So if you don't have it, you can do something like this, and then you'll be able to run that. Okay, so now I change directory into the routing folder. Here we are, and then once you have your project set up, let me make this a bit bigger then you can come here and install Svelte Routing, like that. Okay, so that was installed. And then I'm going to code dot to open the project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so here we are in source app.svelte. Okay, so usage, I'm gonna copy and paste this in just as the example for app.svelte. Okay, and you're actually going to need to change. So I'm just gonna have a few, I'll have home. Um, so this isn't quite right. So I'm gonna make a folder called routes and then inside I'll make um, home.svelte. I'll make a circles.svelte for my circles page and then a squares.svelte for my squares page. Okay, and then you're gonna import it like normal. Import um, home from routes slash home.svelte. Import circles from slash routes slash circles.svelte. Okay, just to speed things up, I'm only gonna do those two. And then you're going to have these three here. Okay, let me just say circles and home so we can see them. Okay, then here, not going to use that. So there's going to be, this will be your nav bar at the top. You're going to have a home. You're going to have an about. So all these abouts I'm going to change to circle, circles. And then these here, uh, blog home, we're not going to have a blog for now, and we're not going to, yeah, okay, there we go, so I'm going to come back here, npm run dev, oh, sorry, I forgot to npm install everything, so you're supposed to npm i after you change directory into routing, I forgot to do that, so now it's all installing, Okay, then I oh okay, then I can npm run dev. Okay, so it should be at localhost 5000. Okay, there we go. So we got home and then circles. So that's a super simple example. Let me show you the code again, but um So here you've got your path circles component circles. Um, and then the path, just the default path, is going to go to home. And if you wanted, so these are the same thing. You can either put your component inside the route like that, or you can say component equals home like that. Save it, and that'll be the exact same thing. Okay, so this is your nav bar at the top. So if you wanted to um, change your nav bar, then you're gonna you're gonna want to come here style and style your nav like this. Oops. Uh, so if you want like a background color, blue, color white, height 100 pixels, width 100%. Let's see if that works. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look very good, but um, you can style it like that. Okay, and then you can change your home and your circles 
you know, you can add stuff so that it's not just this one thing there. And then if you want to add more, you just got to come here, add another component in the route, and then import it here, and then add it right here, um, just like you did there. So, yep, that's the basics. Uh, hope that makes sense.